Hi, welcome to the video 5 of a drop of Excel. For anyone who has directly come to this video, please go through the introduction and the first 4 videos and then come back here. Alright, let's continue. So now what we are going to learn is formula across sheets and files. So now we are going to learn how to create a formula across sheets and even across multiple Excel files, right? So until now, whatever formulas we made was within that sheet. Your data was also there. The formula that you were creating was also right there. Now we are going to create the formula across sheets and then we'll learn across files. So let's just understand first how the data and the syntax looks. So let's say this is the data, right? This is what we are going to work on. Now in terms of syntax, we need to understand what is an exclamation mark, all right? So an exclamation mark is a separator between a sheet name and a cell reference. So here is the complete syntax, which is sheet name, exclamation mark, cell reference. So basically your exclamation is separating out the sheet name and the cell reference, right? Now these colors I'll come to later. Let's first put this into practice. Let's learn how to create one. So I'm going to go to the next sheet. Now there are two questions which we will solve based on this data. So the name of the sheet is data and syntax. We are going to solve it in sheet name 5.1. Total inventory means what do you want is a sum of this column, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to say equal to SUM tab. Now with your mouse, you will click on this data and syntax sheet and you will select this. All right. Now, please, please keep in mind that your formula is being created on top here as well. You can see it here. You don't need to go to that sheet to check the formula. This is the significance of the formula bar that whatever you are doing, you are able to see that being built up in this formula bar, right? So now let's see this. What does it mean? It says the sheet name data and syntax, then the exclamation mark, and then the C2 to C17. So this means that I am going to pick up C2 to C17 values from the data and syntax sheet. Now, if I directly click on this sheet 5.1, see this changed. So instead of taking it from data and syntax, now it's taking from sheet 5.1. So that's wrong. You had to be here. So I'll just repeat this. So it's perfectly clear to you. I'll press escape equal to some tab. You with your mouse, you click on the sheet where the data is. You select the data. Now you do not click back on the original sheet where you're putting a formula. You first close the bracket. See the closing of the bracket is happening here. And then you press enter. Automatically, you will come to this sheet when you press enter. You don't have to do that manually. So I urge you to pause the video here, try this out, understand how this exclamation is working and then move forward. All right. Just before you try it out, note one more thing about the colors. Whenever I try to take a summation here, for example, tab, whenever I do this, see the colors of C2 to C17 is in blue color, right? Because it's from within the sheet. But when I do a formula here, I pressed F2. Whenever I'm taking the reference from another sheet, it will always be black in color. So that's about your colors. Go ahead, pause the video, do this much and then come back for across files. All right, now let's learn across files. So again, we'll focus on the syntax first. Single quotes has the name of the file and the sheet. Okay. And then box brackets has the name of the file. So what I mean by that is single quotes now referred to this single quote and single quote year. So this overall has the name of the file and the sheet, but the box bracket only has the name of the file. In the earlier example, there was no other file. Hence, this was not there, right? We only had the name of the sheet, but now we have the file name in box bracket, then the sheet name and then the cell reference with the exclamation. All right. So what we are going to do is we go to 5.2. These are the two questions that we want to solve. 
But as I've written here, copy these two questions into a new file and answer there. So I'm just going to do a control C, a control N to open a new file and a control V to paste. All right. I can just adjust the column widths and let's answer this here. So for the profit percentage on the treadmill, I will say equal to open the bracket, go to the other file. I can press alt tab for that treadmill. So I will take the sell price. Now, please observe how it is being created. Name of the file is in the box bracket. Five hyphen formula across sheets and files as the name of the file dot xlsx. Then you have the sheet name, then the exclamation, and then dollar e dollar ten e ten. What is that dollar? We will see in upcoming videos, right? So you see e ten minus. Don't go back to the any anywhere. Just click on this. Close the bracket. Hold divide by the sell price because that is what gives us the profit percentage. Now once I'm done with the entire formula, I'll press enter, and this I can convert to. Percentage sign. So this gives me fifty-eight percent. I'll press F two here. Please try to see this. Within the bracket, I have the sell price, then the cost price, which is minus, and then whole divide by the sell price. Formula looks super complex, but it's nothing. If you understand the syntax properly, it is nothing difficult to about this formula to understand. Interesting. Let's go back to the file and let's solve for practice the 5.1 second question and then 5.2 second question we will solve in the other file. So I'm going to solve 5.1 here profit percentage on speed rope. Now we are going to do this from the same file but across sheets. So the box bracket will not come. So I will say whole equal to profit percentage on speed rope. So I'm going to say speed rope sell price. Observe carefully there is no file name. It's only sheet name minus. Cost price. Close the bracket. Hold upon the sell price of the speed rope, and I can convert this to percentage. Similarly, I'll go to the other file. What will be the total profit if you sell one quantity of each? Now, what is the question saying? I want to sell one quantity of each. So, what will my total profit be? Now, we don't have the total profit as a column, right? So, we just Add a column, so you can right-click and insert a column, and you can say profit, and here you will say equal to sell price minus cost price, and I will double-click. Now there, I will say sum of all the profits. I will close the bracket, enter. Again, have a look at the formula. Box bracket as the name of the file, then the sheet name, and then the cell references. So we also learned how to insert a column. Similarly, you can insert a row, you can delete a row, or you can delete a column. Always remember when you insert a column or a row, it always inserts it before. So here, if you insert, it will insert on the left side. Here, if you insert, it will insert on. Above on top side, right? That's how it works. So with that, we have learned how to create formulas across sheets and files. Go ahead, learn this, and then continue on to the sixth video, and then go on till the twelfth. If you have any kind of questions in this video, please put in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help. And most importantly, as usual, if you have liked the content, if you have learned something new. Please like, please share, please subscribe so that it can help many others to learn. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.